What is going on guys? Today we are back in the shop actually going to be working on the Project 914. It's been a long time but sometimes you got to take little breaks uh, make sure you don't get burnt out on your projects that's why I've been working on other stuff but uh, before I can really get this thing tuned I'm having issues with the fuel system. Now the factory fuel system in the 914 it's fuel injected so it's all set up right with a return line and everything but the lines that they use are these really brittle plastic lines. They're actually like a clear plastic tubing and they're garbage. So I keep springing leaks in my fuel system. The previous owner also struggled with um, doing some weird modifications and stuff and he the tubing is already like rock hard and it's missing a hose clamp and I can't get to it without taking the tank out. So we need to pull the fuel tank out of this. I've got some hard lines here that we can run uh, hopefully through the tunnel where the stock lines go um, because steel is a lot going to be a lot better than plastic and then just a whole bunch of standard rubber line because I mean it's a stock Subaru engine I don't need any fancy AN fittings or AN lines or anything because it's not running any crazy pressures but yeah this should be a lot better than what is running in it now and then now when I tune it I don't have to worry about uh, loss of fuel pressure being an issue anywhere because I've had that fight me over and over again. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, then you would have seen me spill about three or four gallons of fuel in the shop and think I was going to die. So, yeah, I'd like for that not to happen again, and that's why we're redoing this whole fuel system before we try to tune it. Let's get to it. And also, I'm going to try out something new for this video. For some of the wrenching portions, um, where I'm sort of underneath the car or somewhere where you uh, can't really see because I can't hold the camera while I'm working, I got my GoPro, so I'll strap it to my head. Um, I'll see what you guys think of that. Hopefully you guys like it and hopefully it looks okay. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments if you uh, like this new format or not. So the fuel tank on this car is right here, um, next to the front trunk. So I'm just gonna yank the hood off real quick. Uh, because I don't know if I can actually get it out without the hood off and so that you can so that you guys can actually see what's going on well, Now the hood definitely needs to come off because I just dropped the first bolt in there So from what I can tell there's nothing actually holding the tank in um, I guess the previous owner just decided it didn't need to be tied down um, it's just loose in here. So I guess I'm going to try to pull it out and see if the fuel lines on the bottom have enough length for me to pull it out and disconnect it once it's out. Otherwise I'll have to crawl under and disconnect them from the bottom. That was way easier than I expected it to be. I was actually sort of dreading this because I thought it was going to be a pain in the ass. Um, nope. Just gotta pull two lines off and I'm done. <laughs> that makes me happy. I'm not even gonna bother trying to get these hose clamps actually off. I'm just gonna snip these lines. Um, and I don't have to deal with these nasty old hoses. Oh yeah, there's fuel in there. I guess if I tilt it right there, it's fine. That works. Didn't spill too much. Oh, there's one of the hoses. All right, now we're rocking the GoPro cam. Here's the cam reception. But unfortunately, the only part about this that is unfortunate, that's a redundant sentence, but uh, I don't have a mic for it, so the audio quality is going to suffer. But at least you guys can sort of see what I'm seeing. I'm trying to see if this is a, a good angle. Yep, that should be fine. So the way it's set up now is here's the feed. Um, and it came out of the tank into this line, down here into the pump and the filter, which are just hanging loose, which is one thing that I'm going to fix and then back here, and then into this uh, tube right here, and then this is just the return line, and then this is the factory access panel. So all that's gonna get ripped out, and these are 
hard line steel lines right here. Um, however, right past them, um, inside the tunnel, they go into those clear plastic tubes. So I gotta figure out a way to disconnect them from there and then yank them all the way out because currently they come all the way up to here. That's that clear plastic line that needs to be removed. And it's still a little bit pliable here, but I'd rather have it be steel hard lines, obviously. I guess I can start just pulling all this garbage out. Pump and everything. Looks like an eight millimeter. Look at that. If you haven't seen this video, check out the Kaizen foam video. I'll put a link in the card. A nicely organized toolbox doesn't make your guessing on what size it is accurate, I guess. Six millimeter? Is it that small? Nope. Jeez. Do I even have a seven millimeter? Moment of truth, seven millimeter. Yes, sir. There's the pump. So, like that, I've got the whole fuel system removed, at least from this side. Now I just have to dig in the tunnel and figure out how to get these as well as the hard plastic lines out because I'd like to use the original grommets and everything for the fuel lines and run them along the original location. So I'll be right back once I figure all that out. Simple enough. I just pushed those tubes uh, through there and you can see they're not in the grommet anymore. They are all the way through. And then on this side, just disconnect them from the rubber lines. They are just free. Now I should just be able to yank it all out. Might break into pieces, but that is okay. So you can see, how is it even attached? Is that literally just a nipple? What were they thinking? Since it's been such a struggle, it's cut them off at that joint. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just gonna cut them off at the firewall and they'll just pull right out. More fuel. Yay. There she goes. Easy. Well, there's the entire Porsche fuel system. That didn't take much. Sweet. This, having this engine cradle is so nice because it just gives me the most perfect jacking point. It also gives me like perfect spots for the stands themselves. Well, my creeper is nowhere to be found. I guess I'm going under just on my back. There goes any attempt at staying somewhat clean today. Oh, it's tight in here right now. Oh, there it is, sticking out right there. I didn't even notice. After a little bit of struggling, line is through I ended up popping this out the grommet I'll put it back in once both the lines are through but now I can go cut the other end of this at an appropriate length oh I got plenty left and then uh, start routing the other side so there's the pump all new fuel lines up into here and uh, this one will go onto the bottom of the tank and that's all 3 8 and here's my 5 16th line, and this is the line that's going to run from the out of the pump 
into the uh, line that goes to the engine. Remember kids, never cut towards yourself. Do as I say, not as I do. There we go. Ow. That's why you don't cut towards yourself. Oh, look at that. Not bad. And tighten down that clamp. So those are the two lines that go to my tank. You got the return and then the feed to the pump. Um, now I can come back here and bend those lines. They're gonna they're coming out of the firewall where this uh, hose goes onto the bottom of the car. So they're gonna bend along the base here and then come out of this hole right here where these hoses are already coming out. These are already fresh hoses, so I might just reuse those. These are bent up. You can see them down there going with the multitude of other wires and tubes that this car seems to have. And then they come up right out of this hole right here, right here next to the uh, fuel rail, or fuel lines that go to the fuel rail. Let me just hand bend them like another degree. Just like that. And all I have to have is a short section of tube, um, or fuel line, fuel hose rather, that just goes from the line to the other hard line. So nice and simple, not a spot for it to leak hardly, since it's just got a couple fittings up here, the ones on the tank, and then right here. So much better than it was before, all new fresh line and clean, and I'm happy. I don't actually know off the top of my head which one of these two lines is the feed, because they sort of get mixed up inside of there. So what I'm gonna do, throw the tank back in here, turn the key to on, see which one fuel squirts out of, and then hook that up to the correct side. There's the fuel, this one. Look at that, she runs. That's all I wanted to see. All right, as you just saw, fuel system is all put together, all clamped, all bent, everything, and uh, the car runs with the new fuel system, so I am super happy. That was super easy and uh, like super cheap, so I'm sort of disappointed that I didn't do it earlier because I've been fighting it so much. Um, but, you know, whatever, at least it didn't cost me anything hardly. So yeah, not bad for uh, redoing the whole fuel system and only taking me a couple of hours. Um, let me know how you like the two camera setup. I'm hoping it turns out well. I haven't been able to see the footage obviously as the GoPro doesn't have a screen, but I'm hoping it turns out looking okay and maybe it's a new way I can sort of show you guys more wrenching. Now that the uh, whole fuel system is redone and I don't have to worry about fuel leaking and the shot blowing up anymore. I can hopefully get to tuning much sooner and get to actually driving this thing on the street much sooner. This has been a uh, pain in the ass, this project. And thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you guys for all subscribing, all you new subscribers. Uh, I feel like every time I upload a video I've got a few hundred, at least more, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much. That's going to be the end of the video today. It just started pouring out so the audio is about to go garbage. And uh, I'm going to get out of here because I am disgusting, covered in coolant and sweat and gross. It's like 85 degrees in here, which is like super hot for me and I'm dying. So yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Throw a like down there if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you have not already. Peace out. Have a good one.